Japan's most atrocious serial killer, the shocking story about Futoshi Matsunaga. Japan is a technologically advanced country, a country with the breathtaking beauty of cherry blossoms. Yes, it is a country worth appreciating. However, there are numerous dark shades of hell to be considered in relation to Japan. Those dark sides consist of violent murders, abductors, rapes, and torture. This might remind you of a case of Junko Furuta. However, today's video is creepier and more frightening than Junko Furuta's narrative. Welcome to Lavender City. Like our video and make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on our channel. This is the story of Japan's most atrocious serial killer, Futoshi Matsunaga. Keep your eyes on the screen. Here we get into the story. The mind-controlling serial killer Fatoshi Matsunaga has murdered about seven people as per the records, but the actual amount is known only by the Almighty God. Between 1996 and 1998, he murdered seven people including two children. He murdered his victims with an accomplice, Junko Agara, who was also a victim of his abuse. His crimes were so atrocious that even most of the mass media refused to report the exact details. The origin of the story was born on 28th April 1961 in Kokura Kitaku, Kitakiyushu, Fukuoka Prefecture. Since school days, Futoshi Matsunaga has remained special and impressive. He was very good at his academic and social skills. Due to his appreciated and impressive behavior in school, he made many friends without any effort. Unlike many humans, he had articulate speech, and as he got older, he was able to charm many women. Futoshi always stood out as a charismatic extrovert and easily made an impression on everyone that he was always good, but he did want to use his abilities for the betterment of the world. The seeds of evil were sprouting. None of the surrenderers observed the evil that lived inside the impressive and charismatic man. It was the era where evil was coming out. He married a woman at the age of 19 and had a child. During his marriage, in 1982, he promised to marry Junko Agata as well. Remember, Futoshi Matsunaga was the owner of a silver tongue and he was a winner at charming women. Junko Agata's mother, Shizumi, wanted the couple to be separated, but he then seduced Shizumi as well. He treated Junko violently. Junko was not strong enough to bear the violence of her fiancé. In 1985, she attempted to commit suicide. Futoshi had begun to poison to sow. He made her part of her family, convincing her that her family hated her because of her suicidal attempt. He began to live with Junko in 1985. However, in 1993, he established a new company named World, selling futons and purchased a building for the company in 1985. He began electrocuting his workers on the third floor of the building at the time, but it remained secret to the world until everything was disclosed. Futoshi had obtained a hundred million yen via deception or extortion. He and Junko eluded the cops in 1992 and were placed on the country's most wanted list. The evil eyes were open. Matsunaga's first victim was a mother of three children. He persuaded her to quit her husband and run away with him in April 1993, informing her that Junko was his sister. In September 1993, one of her children died under strange circumstances. In the following month of the child's death, her two other children moved in with their father and grandfather. Matsunaga robbed the woman of 11.8 million yen during their relationship. In March of 1994, the woman died in a bizarre manner. Matsunaga was not found guilty of killing the woman or her child, according to the police. But if any closer examination was done, Matsunaga's mysterious behavior could be captured at that point. However, the reported victims were murdered after being found not guilty in the above case. Although it is a mystery whether the above deaths were caused by him or not, he would certainly be conscripted due to the escape. After that, Matsunaga lived in a condominium in Kitakiyushu. In 1994, he targeted Kumio Toraya and his daughter. Matsunaga tried to blackmail Kumio by obtaining information about his previous offenses. Kumio even admitted to previous convictions, which he hadn't committed to reality. Kumio was restricted to his room with his daughter. He electrocuted Kumio as a form of torture. He also made Kumio's daughter abuse her father. 
Kumio died of maltreatment on February 26, 1996 at the age of 34. Matsunaga persuaded the girl that she was the one who killed her father. Junko and the girl were told to dispose of his body. The remains of Kumio were dumped away from the Kunisaki Peninsula. In the same year, Matsunaga had identified a new target, a woman he knew from Kumio's past. He deceived her into believing he would marry her. He also asserted that he was a Kyoto University graduate. He took 5.6 million yen from her. When she and her daughter went to his chamber, they were kept captive. In March 1997, she leaped from the second floor to the ground and escaped from him. Her daughter was liberated after she was committed to a mental institution. Junko went to work in April 1997 and never returned. Masunaga contacted Junko's relatives to inform them of her absence. He kept blackmailing Shizumi, Junko was a killer. He told her family, and he threatened them. He made bogus reports that he had committed suicide, and he staged his own fake funeral. Junko returned after hearing the good news, only to discover that he was still alive. Junko was brutally abused by Matsunaga. Junko's family paid Matsunaga 63 million yen before being arrested by him. Matsunaga also seduced Junko's married sister, Rieko. He continued to sexually torture the women by electrocuting them. He ruled the family in the same way that cult leader Shoko Asahara and his followers ruled the cult. He ordered Junko to torture Junko's father, Takashige, to death by electrocution on December 21, 1997, when he was 61 years old. Shizumi's mental state deteriorated as a result of Matsunaga's mistreatment, and she began to speak in weird voices. On January 20, 1998, he ordered Rieko and her husband Kazuya to strangle Shizumi. At the age of 58, she passed away. According to the reports, it was the third murder of Matsunaga, the mind-controlling serial killer. Make sure you like us before we move to the latter part of the video. Ryoko's ears were deafened as a result of Matsunaga's torture. On February 10, 1998, he ordered them to kill Ryoko, who was taken captive by Junko's sister's daughter, Aya, and strangled by Kazuya. She died when she was 33 years old. Kazuya, who had killed two individuals in cold blood, was fatigued. On April 13, 1998, he was confined to a lavatory and starved to death. He died when he was 38 years old. On May 17, 1998, Matsunaga ordered them to kill Rieko's son, Yuki, who was held by Junko and Kumio's daughter and strangled by Aya. He died when he was five years old. Matsunaga and Junko electrocuted Aya according to the order of Matsunaga. Junko, on the other hand, refuted the girl's evidence, claiming that her memories may have been skewed by a sense of remorse because it was her first murder. On June 7, 1998, Kumio's daughter strangled her, she died when she was 10 years old. The bodies of all the victims were split and cooked in pots. Residents in the condominium heard noises and smelled the stink as they subdivided the bodies of the head. The bodies of the victims were eventually tossed into washrooms, goalies, or the sea. Following the murders, the condominium was remodeled. Junko, who was the sole survivor in her family, outside her two children, was blamed by Matsunaga for the crimes. None of the bodies were found, but the bloodthirst did not stop there. He continued his murders even after the above murders. On January 30, 2002, Kumio's daughter, who was being held captive, escaped from Matsunaga, but Matsunaga found her on February 15, 2002. The girl was subjected to electrical abuse. On March 6, 2002, the girl fled from Futoshi for the second time, confessed to their crimes, and reported it to the authorities. She was 17 years old at the time. When Futoshi and Junko attempted to reclaim the girl the next day, they were jailed. The twins and the couple's two children, altogether four children, were protected by the police. Realizing that the culprit would never be forgiven, he was brought to justice. They were arrested for the murders as follows. On September 18, 2002, for the murder of Aya. On October 12, 2002, for the murder of Takashige on December 6, 2002, for the murder of Shizumi, on January 11, 2003, for the murder of Yuki, on February 3, 2003, for the murder of Kumio, on May 30, 2003, for the murder of Kazuya. The girl Kumio's daughter was not charged with any killings. Junko acknowledged the murders quietly, 
but Matsunaga maintained his innocence because there was no physical proof or evidence. The authorities relied heavily on the girls and Junko's statements. A district court in Fukoku sentenced him and Junko to death by hanging on September 28, 2005. The court accepted six cases, but determined that Takashige, Junko's father, had not been killed, but rather had been electrocuted and died as a result of the injury. They filed an appeal against the ruling. On September 26, 2007, the High Court condemned Matsunaga to death once more. However, Junko's sentence was commuted to life in prison since Matsunaga had compelled her to kill the victims as a result of his domestic abuse. Because the act was too heinous to explain, the details of the incident were not reported by the media. Nonetheless, several brave writers, notably Ryo Zusaki, bravely wrote about the incident specifics. Most of the methods of his murders were electrocution, strangulation, and starvation. Futoshi Matsunaga, the man who came from hell, the man who created hell. The murders were unexplainable, but he was known as cruel, twisted, and inhumane. He was sentenced to death, but could anyone forget the murders he did? Could anyone get out of the fear of those dark shadows? The days begin and end. The world is moving, but again, evil will be alive in any form. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the horror. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like our video before you leave. See you soon in another video.